yeah, winter's coming and these fly racing heated gloves really helped me along the Route 66 trip, but it's time to sell these. Why? Heated grips, baby. Nope, not on the Lowrider S. Let me show you what bike. That's right, it's a 2021 Honda Africa Twin Adventure Sports. And you're probably asking yourself, what the f Joe? Didn't you have one of these before? Well, let me explain. Get this package off to the post office. Oh man, replete with the heated grips. <laughs> they feel so nice right now at 55 degrees even. I did have a 2020 Africa Twin Adventure Sports just like this one, except it was in the Dakar colorway. And this is the black metallic something something colorway. I don't remember the exact name of it. Some, some kind of weird name for the color. Let me recap why I bought the original Africa Twin. Just these mirrors. This bike still only has 15 miles on it. I just got it two days ago. And man, I am loving this bike a lot. Oh, it just fits my personality. It fits what I want to do. So yeah, onto that recap. I started this channel with the Harley Iron 883, showing that that bike and me were capable of traveling long distance on it. And that's what I want to do on a motorcycle. This bike and the 2020 I had before it allows me to do that traveling. Allows me to go further, allows me to go farther. This is a ridiculously capable bike. Yeah, this is the Adventure Sports model with this gigantic tank. Six and a half gallons with amazing gas mileage on this thing. I'll be able to go 300 miles with one tank of gas. And this bike also has some off-road pedigree. I've taken the Iron 883 off-road where I shouldn't have, and this bike will just be better suited for that. I will do a whole full review on this bike. This isn't a first thoughts because I've had this bike before. So now let me explain. So in early 2020, COVID was still very active. And Honestly, it still is. Uh, we still have mass mandates here in Madison, Wisconsin. So any restaurant, any, any grocery store I go to, I'm wearing that mask. Because the variant is still strong as ever. And because of that, I wasn't able to travel the way I wanted to. Couple that with some family obligations throughout 2020 just made it impossible for me to travel. I couldn't give this bike the attention that it deserved. I really couldn't. And it just, at the time, didn't make sense for me to keep it. It just didn't. And I couldn't foresee myself traveling in 2020, so I sold it. Probably within hours, no joke, I regretted selling it. I really did. And I've been looking for one, oh, probably since just before I got the Lowrider S a couple of months ago. Problem is, this is a ridiculously popular bike and everybody wants one. And I really wanted one in the, the Dakar, that red, white, and blue colorway. Didn't really want this color, it just didn't appeal to me as much. And I know it's kind of weird to say, I want that bike in a certain color and it just doesn't feel the same. Let me put that in perspective for you. Do you have a favorite coffee mug? One that, if it's sitting next to another coffee mug that's just as good as your favorite one, but you're wait waiting for your favorite one, or you, you clean out your favorite one just so you could use it. It's just not the same thing using 
a different coffee mug that's not your favorite one. You, you gotta have your favorite coffee mug. Or if you're going camping, your, your camping mug. You know, you just need your camping mug. I'm gonna have to go around here because this package is a little big. So I couldn't have my favorite coffee mug that was the AT, right? So I waited and waited and hoped some private seller was selling one. Let me get this package in this mailbox here. See you later, Fly Racing. You've been good to me. Hopefully you'll be good to the next owner. All right. Where was I? Favorite coffee mug. Even though it's the same bike, has the same features, has the same capability, sometimes it's just not the same thing if it's not the color you want. I know you, you can't tell while riding. I mean, yeah, I can look at the black, but there's a few things that made me get over that. One was there was no Dakar styled Africa Twins available at all. None. I kept looking and looking and hoping one would be available, but it wasn't going to happen. It's kind of nice to have to break in two new bikes. Three! Three new bikes in within a year. The first Africa Twin, the Little Rider S, and now the second Africa Twin. The other thing that made me get over that was I bought this bike from a dealership in northern Wisconsin, just north of Green Bay, about 15 miles, 20 miles north of Green Bay. Ken Sports of Green Bay. Man, those guys treated me well, mainly on the price of this bike. So they were not able to sell this bike for whatever reason. Uh, the location that they are at, they mostly sell UTVs and snowmobiles. They sell a few motorcycles, they sell some Hondas, they sell some KTMs, but their focus is UTVs. And they were having a hell of a time selling this. And I've been keeping my eye on this one for a couple of months, since, since last July. MSRP on this bike is $17,199. They sold it to me for $13,199. I nearly fell off my chair when the salesman told me the price. I was thrilled. Let me say that again, $13,199. That's $4,000 less than the MSRP of this bike. And that is actually below the price of the base model. Base model, I believe, is just over 14. So man, I was thrilled. So I jumped at it. I, I couldn't say no. And another thing that I'll add is I got a great interest rate on this. I don't normally want to finance a bike, but the interest rate was for a motorcycle loan was great so I couldn't turn it down so I'll have some great videos on this bike some how to's some camping trips I might take a camping trip this next weekend and of course some long distance adventures hopefully coming this spring so leave a comment below tell me what you think of me getting my second Africa twin Tell me how crazy I am. I normally wouldn't say this, but I deserve to be ripped in the comments for that. You know, because I looked a little wishy-washy, so I'll accept any insults below. One time only. Free insults. I'll take it. I'll take it like a man. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Ride safe out there. Keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. I'll see you in the next video.